All right, so welcome to another installment of Red Cape Learning. We're going to be talking about crypto, so let's go on over to the big screen. If you haven't already, make sure you smash the like button. That will really help us out here. So let's go over the crypto news. And of course, we're going to talk about the future of crypto a little bit in this episode. So right now, again, I will refresh just to make sure we are precise. Bitcoin's at 23000 820 and then Ethereum is at $1,700 USD, of course. And we're starting to see a little bit of pump. If we look at the 24-hour, let's see what's in the lead here. So, yeah, it looks like um, Internet Computer, so ICP. I mean, this was up quite a bit. This has fallen a lot since it's high. But if you look even at the week, we've got some leaders like OP. I haven't researched this project yet. There's a lot that, you know, kind of are up-and-coming projects that, you know, because there's such a low market cap, I, I just don't really have a lot of interest. Um, but anyways, Qtum, not something that I own, but anyways, something that, um, you know, I've, I've been following for a little bit. Um, and definitely very interesting. So, yeah, these projects are the ones that are doing quite well. Filecoin, Winklevoss Twins, they were an early supporter of that project. Um, but again, the top projects that I invest in, um, Polygonmatic Layer 2 Solution for Ethereum, Bitcoin, of course, the digital gold, um, the biggest decentralized network we have in the world, and then my favorite proof-of-stake project, Cardano. So Cardano should be up here, um, but we're sitting at number eight. Um, yeah, this is my number one project. You can stake. Um, there are tons of ISPOs. Um, let me know if you, any of you would like to see an ISPO episode on Cardano. I can show you how to stake your ADA and earn rewards. Um, and even if you want, um, I could do like a, a monthly update showcasing the top ISPOs that I'm getting into. Um, because the purpose, at least for me, and the, I guess the logical standpoint of Cardano is that you can leverage from, you know, a hardware wallet, the coins that you already have on your private keys, and then utilize your public key to stake towards pre-IPO tokens. Um, and then you can also get rewarded with, you know, um, you know, NFTs and then their native token. So, for example, Meld. So let's check that out here. If we type in Meld, um, this was a project that I delegated 3,000 Cardano to. And then once this project launched, it was like 12 cents at one point. It's gone down. So even if we look at the one year, it was, yeah, it was about here. So even 13 cents when I you know, whatever, well, like when it was at its high, but this was an ISPO. So actually, if I go to the bigger screen, it'll be easier for, your, for you all to see. Basically, I staked 3000 Cardano into the stake pool. So every five days, I was rewarded with this token. And then I also got access to a free NFT as well. So that's definitely really cool. Um, let me know if you, any of you would like to see an episode on, you know, uh, you know, not, not how to stake or buy NFTs, but how to get free NFTs. And one way is through ISPO and stake pools. So let's go through some news. Um, I try to, you know, find a couple articles. This was the only one that was interesting to me. Um, so again, today is Friday, July 29th, 2022. Um, I still think we're going to see, you know, an $8 Cardano by 2030. So it's not too long from now. Um, but this article, let's check this out. I don't like to read, but I do like the headlines. And I watch a lot of YouTube or podcasts. Um, nearly 75% of retailers plan to accept cryptocurrency payments within the next two years. So definitely very interesting. Um, I want to break down and do more of a you know longer form episode talking about... Um, I'm, I'm working on an online course for it, but I would definitely like to add something for free on YouTube. Um, I want to talk about the future, you know, logical trajectory of, of where cryptocurrencies are headed. Because right now we have, you know, layer ones. So that's going to be basically, you know, the cement of crypto. And then we have the layer twos coming out, which we have like Polygonmatic. Um, we've got, you know, layer twos like Meld on top of Cardano. Basically, we're building the infrastructure of cryptocurrencies, so Web 3.0. Um, but basically, to make a long story short, a lot of different businesses will begin to accept payments in cryptocurrencies, whether it's going to be, 
you know, um, a U.S. stable coin, which is fine, um, you know, or the chi Chinese stable coin, or, you know, maybe even here in Canada, we might have, you know, uh, I don't know how we're going to have a loonie on the blockchain. Um, maybe we'll figure that out somehow. But we will have a digital coin that's easy to track, but it will all be on the blockchain. It's going to be interesting because when you move over to, you know, businesses accepting crypto, um, I think that's only going to come at a time where it's easy to do. And that's going to be with the cell phone, right? Or beyond it. Maybe, hopefully we're not using cell phones in five years. You know, again, we're 2022. Um, probably like a wristwatch, we will have the capability of, you know, maybe with VR glasses to like send out coins. I'm making a prediction. But maybe by 2030, we could, you know, I don't know, with our fingerprint, we could like accept payments send crypto through the blockchain and you would see it in an AR world, meaning like augmented reality. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, but yeah, definitely this is where crypto is headed. You're going to be able to purchase things and buy NFTs and buy, you know, clothing that other, because it's going to be status based, right? Like when you go into the real world, people are going to flex, not just on Instagram, but in a, in a AR VR world right? Like it, it's going to be about who can wear, you know, the coolest sneakers, who can have the coolest swag, the coolest shirts. You'll have VR cars. Like, you know what I mean? Like people are going to buy NFTs, you know, which is a way to represent a specific item on the blockchain. That's all it is really. And then you'll be able to like, you know, buy a Lamborghini and drive it in the metaverse or, you know, even AR. I, I really think AR will be next. So there will be a way in which, you know, you could augment the way we already visualize the world through our eyes right now. I know I may sound crazy, but I'm just predicting things, right? So anyways, that's all I have for you. I just want to give you a quick crypto update, give you some thoughts of, you know, you know, I, I really want you to all think about, you know, especially before you buy any crypto, think about logically where you think it's headed. If you think that we're not going to have a big spike in technology, maybe don't buy crypto as much right now. But I'm buying now because I know 10 years, like, I know that we're not going backwards with technology. You know, maybe we have in some ways, you know, going to the moon. Um, we haven't invested as much into it. But in general, we're not, we're not going backwards. It doesn't seem like in crypto. Um, as much scarcity as you see on the news, as much as... You know, you've had Elon dumping a lot um, of, of uh, Bitcoin and other institutions are just not getting into it. We are going more towards NFTs. You're going to be able to buy and sell and flex your NFTs, improve ownership of houses, boats, cars, watches, sports cards. You're going to be able to do a lot of things just by the NFT that you own. And it's all going to be verified on the blockchain. So that's just what I believe. Let me know what you believe in the comments below. Thank you so much. We will see you in the next episode when I'm a millionaire.